guys this is Malia with mustard tree market hi um so today I'm going to be doing this medicine cabinet this is I'm gonna show you today how to make like a Moroccan tile like paint it and make it look like it's an actual Moroccan tile okay so I painted this all in the new silk line the silk paint line that's by um, Dixville paint company um, these are the silk mineral chalk mineral paint it's an all-in-one paint um, so it's got uh, like basically one coat of primer in it and one coat of top coat in it um, this paint is great for things that go in a bathroom or a kitchen um, because it's mildew resistant um, it's got all the things to be great for um, a moisture rich atmosphere like a beach house or a bathroom or a kitchen so this will be perfect and I won't even have to top coat it and it'll be great in my bathroom so I painted this all here in a base coat. This navy that you see underneath here is nautical by Silk. And then the lighter blue that you're seeing here is called Quiet Cove. It's a really gray, gray blue. And then the center parts here, this brighter white in the middle is white cap which is their like the silk lines really bright white and then one of my favorite colors in the silk line is called sunkissed and this is it's kind of a yellowy buttery color but it's still in the white family and that's what you're seeing around these edges here and on the woodie bins okay and I added some woodie bins and that's kind of where I'm at. I am going to make this cleaner. I'm not going to leave this quite so dry brushity. I'm going to make this clean this up more, but I wanted to get the idea of the colors I was doing. And then I've applied the silk screen stencil. This is the silk screen stencil I use is called mosaic. And I cut out each of the silk screen stencils that Dixie Bell carries down the bells and whistles line. They have multiple stencils in one package. Okay. So it's like $24.95, I believe, but it comes with multiple sheets and stencils and the silk screens give you that really crisp, really precise, um, detail. So I cut up the mosaic one, just a part of it to give me these separate stencils. Okay. And they're sticky on one side. And I've just applied them like this, you know, and then I painted and then I moved them down. And that's how I did that to give me the separate stencils look. And I found after some trying and playing around with the, the silk screen stencils that are blue gator hide sponges. If you chop it, make little baby sponges. It works really good to apply the silk screen stencils. And it's really tiny so I could do different colors. So I did the light blue and the dark blues and I was able to like switch sides and get different colors in there and get the right amount of paint to give you that look. And I wanted kind of a weathered look so I wasn't trying to make it super heavy paint. Um, it worked out great. And so now I'm gonna show you because that still doesn't look like tiles. It looks like a big sheet, right? So I'm gonna show you with Would You Bend how to make this look even more like actual mosaic tiles, okay? And that's what we are doing today. So I'm using this would you bend trim. It's a little baby skinny one. Okay. And my little link that I've got in there pinned, it has um, the actual number to this. So the, the one for this, the number, and you can find it there on that, th that uh, link and you can find a local retailer. And if you can't, um, or you don't have a local retailer, you can order it there. So it's the skinniest little trim and I love this trim. I use it a lot because it's super easy for so many different things, just to give a little bit of that raise, okay? And I'm gonna show you how this works. So I started measuring, oh, it's so, 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 so skinny. I started measuring these areas right between each of these tiles. And then once I got one measured, then I could go in and cut the wedgie bend to make the size on each one. And this is a very, very, very fragile one because it's super, super thin. And when they break, because like this one broke, 
you just glue them back together as you do it. They just slip right together. So they're perfectly easy to put back together when they break because this one's super fine and thin. But that's gonna be the perfect like edge to show the Moroccan tile to make it more realistic. And this one heats up really quick and easy because it's so thin. And I'm just gonna do my little measurement really quick here. And I just cut it with scissors. These are really easy to cut with scissors. I just made a little bitty, little bitty guy there. Okay. And then I'm going to look and see, yep, that'll fit. And I like to use a little pair of pliers. Ah! Could use tweezers or whatever something to hold your little trimmy while you warm it up you got to heat it up with a heat gun usually you have to heat them longer than that but this is such a thin one that it doesn't take long and then you want to take this tight bond wood glue that dixie bell sells right there on that link that i have posted and you just apply it to the back of the wood you bend. And I usually shoot the other side with the heat gun real quick after I do that, just to keep it warm. And you simply apply it between each tile. And then shoot with the heat gun again. Get it straight. Kind of hold it there for a second to get it to stick. And then we're gonna go to the next one, okay? So I'm gonna pull you guys in here so you can see that really close up. I'll try to pull you in as close as I can.
and I'm gonna use a little artist brush and I'm using the silk um, color Sunkissed now to paint the would you bins and I want them to be a little browner like you know how they would look if they were the grout or something on the tiles in between so I'm thinking if I just barely hit the edges of this would you bin that I can get that look you know what I mean because I want them to you know what I mean like between the tiles that like kind of grout color I'm thinking I'll just dry brush a little bitty bit I'm only using an artist brush because it's like super super tiny trim I'm barely putting any paint barely any of this paint on here just to kind of dry brush a little bit on the edges of the would you bin so you can see that detail that I like on the would you bin trims sorry let me get over here can't see over there well sorry I know my head's in the way for a second See what I mean? And I'll probably put some, um, maybe some brown wax around there a little bit just to kind of dirty them up a little bit to make them look more authentic. And then I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go a little further just to show you the look on that. Cause I'm thinking that the brown Maybe the bronze wax, gilding wax. Yeah, I'm thinking the bronze gilding wax. I'm gonna grab it. One second. Bronze gilding wax, where you at? Here we go. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab. I use the gilding wax and bronze. This is my new favorite, like, brown wax, okay? It's got a really cool, dirty, with a little bit of shimmer. See how that is? It's perfect. It's like a grungy, I love it. I love it. It's my new thing. And I'm just going to use a little tiny artist brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray that a little bit with the Easy Peasy Spray Wax. I'm gonna spray with the Easy Peasy Spray Wax just so I can move my gilding wax a little bit, okay? It gives me some playability with it. So I'm gonna spray this on just where I'm wanting to put that. kind of a lot on there and then I'm just going to put a little bit of gilding wax on a little tiny artist brush I'm just going to try to dirty it up a little bit so it looks a little bit more authentic for my old Moroccan tile look that I'm going for You know what I mean like where you would naturally find that dirt would go around the grout or whatever the edges of tiles and this is also going to give it some dimension and depth that's going to make it look even more real and not so um 1d it's going to make it more what do you call that 2d 3d 4d it's gonna make it look like it's sticking out, you know what I mean? So mixed with the would you been trim, it really starts to appear to be protruding from the door, you know? 
And it's much cheaper than buying actual Moroccan tiles. Faux show. Sure. And I just love the way the bronze has just a hint of metallic. It just gives you a, a little hint. What you think? What you think? Let me pull you in so I can show you that. See? See how that gilding wax totally makes it look old? Cool, right? Thank you guys for the hearts. It's definitely really looking like there is Moroccan tiles, right? Kind of cool. And then I'm going to probably go in here, you know, and continue some of that grunge look. Need a better wax brush now that I'm going to go there to the bigger spots, but you're going to get the idea. I continue on with that. That age makes the piece look authentic. I always go overboard with my easy peasy. But that's what I use. I use my easy peasy before I'm doing any sort of embellishment like this so that I have some movability. See how that goes much smoother? I'm able to play with it and drag it more to really get the look I'm wanting. Cool, right? Definitely try the silk string. Uh oh, my thing's falling off. Need to add more glue there. Such a cool look. Such a cool look. And that's the perfect space for like a tile. So I hope you guys like this and I hope that this gives you an idea of something to do, especially in a bathroom, especially using the silk paints. It's a great way to, you know, put them on not have to top coat it or anything and get that cool Moroccan look. Um, yes, clear wax underneath works. That's why we use that spray wax. It works so well, guys. So I'm gonna flip this over just to show you close up like I always do. All right, so see how these look like? We had a plain door. We put the Moroccan, um, the mosaic, it's actually a mosaic, you call them Moroccan. Mosaic silk screen stencils here. I applied using the silk paints. I used a blue Gator Hide sponge. And then I thought, that does not look enough like tiles. So then we added the wood you bend, put that trim around it. And I can always fill in these little gaps with Dixie Mud if I want to. Glued those on. And then I added the gilding wax and bronze to give it some dirt. And now it totally looks like if it's hanging up on the wall that that would be tiles. Fun, right? Thank you guys so very much. Stay warm, okay? See you guys next week. Mm -hmm.